years ago, I was on full-time production team. I was the audio director at a church in, in St. Louis, and we had, uh, we had finished what we thought was our production meeting uh, for the Christmas coming up. And this was back in, I think, uh, uh, September. Um, too late, but September. We were going through our planning meetings for, for Christmas. And um, so my boss, uh, the supervisor, thought we were, we were done, and we'd, we'd met for about an hour, hour and a half or something like that. Everything was going okay. And uh, anyway, I raised my hand and asked a couple of questions about, well, have we thought about this? Have we thought about that? Who's taking care of this area? That kind of thing. We met for another two hours, and we had to have lunch brought in. And if we hadn't done that, our Christmas service was, would have fallen flat. We would have really had major technical issues. Things would not have been prepared, those kind of things. So debriefing, you know, every week is important. I mean, again, being a full-time staff at a church, uh, in, in St. Louis. Um, when I first started there in, in the early 80s, uh, I had to beg for sound checks. I mean, just, just to get a sound check, I had to beg. And this was folks like, uh, you know, Tom Brooks was the, the music director there, uh, um, you know, a famous producer. Uh, Kent Henry was the leading worship uh, back in those days. And I had to beg for, uh, for sound checks uh, back in the early 80s. We're talking the 81, 82. I worked at that church through 87. I, I went away for a few years, went back in about 1990-ish, I think. And by that time, uh, things had grown, and they would kind of taken my whole thing about sound checks and, and uh, really gone pretty far with it. We got to the point where uh, uh, we, had a, uh, we had a programming director over the whole team. I was the audio director. We had a video director. We had a band director. We had a, a, a lighting director, uh, a couple uh, production secretaries. Uh, and we had each each department had their own set of volunteers. I had about fourteen volunteers uh, working with me. I had two full full time paid assistants. So we had weekly uh, production meetings uh, to go over what happened. Like we we'd meet on a Tuesday, and we'd go over what happened over the the past weekend. Things that went right, things that went wrong, how we could improve. Uh, then we'd talk about uh, what was coming up for the that uh, the midweek service, and then what was going to happen uh, for the weekend service coming up. Uh, and we'd also, sometimes we'd do some long range planning. If there was really a big event like Easter or Christmas or, or some special concert coming up, then we would have a separate meeting, maybe on Wednesday or something like that, where we'd come back together and specifically focus on, on that area. But the, those whole, all that kind of pl planning, it makes a world of difference.